Hey guys, checking in with you. Just want to give you a bit of value today and break down how I use social media when I'm trying to get something done, such as exams, such as a project that I'm working on, and uh, how I really get myself to focus on what I'm trying to do and not be distracted by stuff that's going on on my mobile, on my smartphone, especially on social media networks, because on social media, not only do you have the issue of having content put to you that isn't relevant to the task you're trying to achieve, but you also have this issue of social pressure, feeling that other people are doing stuff, so it makes it okay for you to get distracted and not focus on what you're trying to do. I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips per platform. Facebook, the newsfeed scroll. You don't wanna be doing much of that at all. You wanna be focusing on your notifications and your events, just those two buttons. Click on those two, then pop back out the app. Snapchat, just focus on your user stories. Why? Because user stories give a decent little snippet of maybe what your top five friends have been doing that day. It's nice to share that because you just get to connect with them and be a good friend and enjoy what they're doing. But the further down you get, if you get into the media section, if you get into the publishers, that's when your attention starts to get distracted by things like the news, celebrity gossip, stuff like that. It just takes your attention away from what you're trying to do. Instagram. What I do is I say get notifications from the things I'm trying to focus on. So if I need motivation for my study, I'll follow three motivation pages and select the get notifications option. And what that does is, is it pushes down all the classic kind of content that you get on Instagram, such as travel pictures, stuff that can make you, if you're perfectly honest, feel a little bit jealous of where someone else is. It doesn't keep you on task and in the room. Select get notifications for the motivational, educational stuff that you want to have in your field of view for that period of time. There's a few other ones as well, I'll just go over them real quickly, but any kind of podcasting app, uh, any kind of music app, change what you listen to. It doesn't have to be, you know, the party songs. I absolutely love doing, listening to that stuff. Anybody who listens to my exam coach playlist know I listen to a lot of music, but there's a time and a place for it. If you're revising and you just want to focus on, on something, yeah, listen to music, because it's a nice blocker to any background noise. But if you're walking along the street, think about, okay, how could I use this time more effectively to actually ladder up to my goal? Is there a podcast I could do? Is there a voice note that I left myself earlier that I could just review and think, okay, uh, I need to build on that, I need to do this a bit differently, whatever it might be. So think about that. I've talked about it there, audio, video, and uh, written content, thinking about on each platform, what am I doing, and what buttons, swipes, selects am I making to actually make sure that the best content comes down the feed when I'm trying to achieve something. Check it out, try it out, and uh, get back to me. Let me know if it works again. 